Today, I'm here in Hello Kitty Cafe to give you a guide of how you can get limited Pom Pom Purin UGC hat. It is so, so cute and very adorable. Definitely worth trying to get. It is going to be a little harder to get, but with some hard work and some dedication, you guys can totally get it. There's still quite a bit to claim, so every day, just make sure that you are doing these things so you can claim Pom Pom Purin. So the very, very first thing you are going to need is Pom Pom Purin himself. You need to unlock staff Pom Pom Purin. And this is going to be the hardest thing to get just because he is a purple. There's a ton of purples and it isn't guaranteed that you are going to get him. I was trying to get him on my alt account to do this video and I was unsuccessful sadly. I was able to get the very bottom one but I sadly wasn't able to get him himself. You need to get him so you can unlock his outfits. So it's very sad that I wasn't able to but I will be going live tomorrow to open up more tickets to hopefully get Pom Pom Purin. But anyways, if you have never played Hello Kitty Cafe and you're not sure how to do this, the first thing you want to do is go outside of your cafe. Once you go outside your cafe, you want to head this way where the sign is over here where you see all of these pink furniture items and then you have this machine right here. This machine is going to give you Pom Pom Purin. This is how you get him and unlock him as a staff. He is just right here. He is a 1% because he's purple and there is quite a few. So the main problem you're probably going to have is getting tickets to spend for Pom Pom Purin. Like I said, I spent a bunch of tickets. I even went and got them legitimately and didn't buy them, but I sadly wasn't successful. But that was only one day of grinding. I would say that you guys would be able to get Pom Pom Purin if you're lucky in a week. So... Every single day, you want to get on Hello Kitty Cafe and you want to try and get tickets to unlock him. The best way to get tickets is to do your daily task. If you go over here and pull out your menu and go to this blue checkboard and click on it, if you scroll down, you can see a ticket right here. You want to complete five daily tasks in order to get this ticket and that's just completing all of these five times. There's also these ones. So you want to play Samuel's Cloud Cafe for three minutes, set a timer for three minutes. You can just stand in there. You can even do your other tasks to get your diamonds because you're going to need diamonds anyways. And don't just focus on getting tickets every single day. Make sure you're getting diamonds because you're going to need diamonds later on when you finally do unlock Pom Pom Purin. So make sure you are doing all your daily tasks every single day. There is a task where you have to like pick up three dishes and stuff in cinema rolls cloud cafe if you have that task i would do that while you're waiting for those three minutes you come back and you will be able to claim this ticket the next one is play three games of kurobi dash this one's pretty easy too you just go into kurobi dash and you want to complete three games you don't have to win you just have to play three games when you come back you will be able to claim this ticket so that is two tickets tickets right there you did two tasks so you have two tickets the next one is play a round of kurumi spooky cafe you just have to play around again you don't have to win you just have to play around so go in play around come back and you will be able to get that extra ticket and then if you do an extra few tasks you can go ahead and claim the top one which is complete daily tasks five times right there you just got four tickets and then you can try and use those tickets to get pom pom purin there is more ways to get tickets though but that is the easiest way is just doing your daily tasks the next one is to do your daily chest you can open up a hundred chests per day if you don't know what i'm talking about if you go around your cafe and see this pink chest sitting right here you press F or you click on it and you open it up and you get something out of it. You can get one ticket per day out of your daily chest. So go around, collect your chest. I would do your max amount because again, you're going to have to get diamonds. So just do your max amount of chest per day. If you have VIP, I think you can open up like 10 extra ones. And if you do it in your cafe, I don't think it takes you that 
that long, but you can also do it in the city over here. You can go off to the city, find the chest in the city, and get those daily chests. That is five tickets right there. That's like the easiest way of getting tickets. Another really, really easy way, since you're going to be playing anyways, is the play wheel right here. You have a chance to get a ticket each time you level up in the stars the easier it is to get the ticket. So at the beginning, it is only 1.1%, but once you get up, it will be easier and easier to get. And you can also get diamonds out of this as well. So again, just spin, play your game. I think it takes two hours and you can get every single one. So that is another way you can get tickets. If you have premium, you get two. If you don't have premium, you just get one. Another way to get tickets is over here where you can see all of the mini games. This is how you get the tickets from your daily task so this is cinema rolls cloud cafe you go in there play for three minutes but if you go over to the cinema rolls exchange store you can buy tickets right here you can get three of them so save up 300 cinnamon coins and you can buy three tickets and use those tickets in the machine and hopefully you can get pom-pom sometimes you can get more than that sometimes you can get six if the vip one is available but you can only get that if you get vip just make sure that you get at least the three tickets and there is a chance that it won't be in the store so if you do see it in the store make sure you get it because the story will refresh and that is the timer right there you can see when it refreshes so make sure that you get those three tickets before the timer runs down because tomorrow there is a chance that there won't be a ticket in this exchange store because it switches every single day the rewards change and then you also have karomi spooky cafe right here as you can see i can get six because i have vip if you don't have vip you can get three but this is easy six tickets just save up 600 or 300 if you don't have vip and then you have three more tickets and then in karopi dash you are always guaranteed to have tickets in here you just play some Kurobi Dash, get 600 coins or 300 if you don't have VIP, buy those tickets, and these rewards don't change. You can always get tickets in here. But in Kurobi Spooky Cafe, there is a chance when it does refresh that there won't be one, and that is the same for some rules exchange store. But there's always a guarantee you can get tickets from the Kurobi Dash. So make sure that you're saving up your currency and playing those mini games and getting those tickets. That is another super, super easy way to get tickets right there that is 18 tickets if all three of them have the tickets in the store and if you can get vip so that's 18 plus the five that you get that is 23 tickets daily and you can open those up and get pom pom purin if you do this for a whole entire week and get those tickets again it'll be a little less because sometimes there isn't tickets in the stores or you don't have vip but if there were to be tickets in the stores every single day and you did this for a week you get 161 tickets that is amazing and you can definitely get at least one or two purples from 161 tickets it's a one percent chance so it's one out of a hundred that you will get a purple it's not guaranteed you will get pom pom purin but hopefully you guys are lucky and can get him now there is some other ways you can get his card so you don't have to open up a bunch of those tickets and this way is by the daily rewards so every single day when you log in you can collect rewards let me go to the city and i can show you how you can get the pom pom pern card from your daily rewards so if you don't know how to go to the city go over here to your train station and walk into that circle and it will take you to the city once you load you can go upstairs to the first floor and outside where these three booths are and you want to go over to the customer service and you want to talk to this person and it will open up your sign in rewards as you can see you can get 20 cookies at the end of your login rewards so every five days you can get 20 cookies if you have vip you get an extra 20 so you get 40 but every day when you log in and claim these it does give you a little bit of cookies and now if you have 800 cookies and you're saving up your cookies and you finally get to 800 you can go down to the cookie store and you can scroll down and you can buy 
pom pom pern outright i already bought it for a video a while back but it is 800 you click on it and you can just buy it and it will give you the pom pom pern card for free you can also buy tickets if you would like but honestly i would just save up your cookies and buy the pom pom pern card the only time that i would buy the tickets is if you already claimed it of course or if you click on the limited UGC and there isn't very many left, I would go ahead and spend your cookies so you can try and get them because I don't think you can get 800 if there isn't very many left to claim. So save up your cookies. You can buy him himself or you can buy those gotcha tickets. Now there is one more way you can get tickets and this is another really easy way with the current event going on. If you go over here to the event center and you talk to this guy and scroll all the way down, you can claim five tickets and they are 20 notes each. So you can collect 20 notes per day. So you can run around, collect those notes and exchange them for a ticket. And you can do this five times a day. So that's 10 tickets right there. That's an extra one. So that's 24 tickets every single day. And then you can try and get pom pom using those. So I would definitely go around and collect notes. If you need some help learning how to collect notes and how to do the music festival event, I will have one linked down below so you guys can watch that if you need some help. But that is everything you can do to get tickets. Now the next thing, once you finally get Pom Pom Perrin, what you're going to need is to get his outfits. And if you go downstairs, we can see how much they are. Right here in the front is everything that you need to buy in order to get his hat. I already own them, but these are 4,000 each. So you just need to get 8,000 diamonds in order to buy those two outfits. And diamonds are a little easier to get. What you can do to get diamonds is you can open chests, just like the tickets. You go around and open up your chest chest and you can get quite a few diamonds per day i think you can get a thousand diamonds per day so in eight days you can go ahead and get those two outfits so open up your chest you can also do your daily tasks this gives you extra diamonds so you just want to complete all of these tasks in order to get them and the next thing if you have vip you can do the vip wheel and downstairs is where the vip wheel is located behind all of this stuff over here by the vip P stuff right here is the vip diamond wheel and you can spin it and it'll give you some diamonds daily i got 80 but you can get 500 so that is another really good way to get diamonds for absolutely free no effort at all you just have to have vip another way you can get diamonds is the playtime wheel just like the tickets you have a chance of getting diamonds the amount goes up when you're spinning your pink stars it's 50 but as it goes up you get a little bit more diamonds and the chance does increase so you just press it spin the wheel and you do have a chance on getting some diamonds that was so close let's do it again let's see if we can get some diamonds come on come on oh it was so close oh we almost got a ticket but that is another way that you can get diamonds and right there it is 75 so it just went up because i went to my purple stars and it is a little more likely to get it and look at that the ticket is up to 3.7 percent next thing you can do to get diamonds which is super easy completely free is joining the rock panda games group if you don't know how to do that go to the my hello kitty cafe page and click buy panda rock games right here and it will take you to their group and there's like a little join button just press that and you can join the group once you join the group all you have to do is go back outside where those three booths are and you want to go to the one in the middle the group reception you want to go and talk to this person and you do have a chance on getting some diamonds and i just got 15 right there completely free super easy and minimal effort you can also get diamonds in the cinema rolls exchange store and karomi's spooky cafe exchange store and you can also get it in the karobi dash exchange store you can get them five times you get 10 that is 50 if you were to buy all three of them that's 150 diamonds 
so not only should you save up for the tickets you should also save up for those diamonds and they're not expensive at all each one is only 20 of those exchange tokens so it is super super easy to get those guys so it's just a hundred extra so if you are saving up for those tickets and you want to save up 400 if you're also saving up for the vip you have to save up 700 tokens in order to get not only the tickets but also the diamonds and you can also get diamonds in the cookie shop as well you can exchange them for some diamonds so 100 wow you get 2000 so if you have 200 you can buy yourself an outfit right away another really good way to get diamonds is codes as well super easy and free i do give away monthly codes that rock panda games gives to me to give to you guys not only does it give you diamonds but it also gives you tickets so if you are looking for diamonds and tickets just watch out for those videos and try and claim those codes and i also have a video about active codes it is from november so some of them may not be active now but i think the majority of them do still work so you can watch that video and try and claim those codes so hopefully you guys are able to save up 8,000 diamonds and then hopefully we'll be able to buy his two outfits and you are just getting a little bit closer to getting his ugc once you get those two checked off the very last thing you need is to get the luxury seats and that is also downstairs where his outfits are located right here is his luxury seats it is 4.5 million coins it is very expensive but it does give you a ton of popularity and i will get into how you guys can get more diamonds the best way to show you that is on my alt account so i will be right back when i am on my alt account okay i am on my alt account now and to get coins the best way to get them is to make yourself a grinding floor i've done two videos about this one is newer the other one's a little bit older if you have more than one floor i would watch the newer one if you only have one floor i would watch the older one and a grinding floor is amazing to getting a bunch of coins this is my current grinding floor right now it's just a ton of tables and all my machines in the back i also have some popularity furniture in the corner and a lot of my popularity furniture is outside I also have my second floor, which is a grinding floor, and my third floor, which is a grinding floor. It's a little overkill. I would not make more than just one floor a grinding floor. You will never fill up one floor, so just do one floor. Don't do what I did, but it is amazing to making you money because in order to get coins, the first thing you need is tables and you need customers the more tables and seats you have down the more customers you get and the more money you will get another really important thing that you do need to get more customers is popularity and to get popularity you need these popularity point furniture and if you're a beginner you need to go over here where this ticket machine is and in the back this is everything that you are going to buy that is going to give you popularity so i wouldn't save up for the luxury seats right away i would get popularity because there is no way to get that much money in the very beginning without spending a ton of time on it so i would focus on getting your popularity points first and then also getting more of the sofas don't spend your money on the sofas in the city only buy the pink ones they are the cheapest ones and they work perfectly i have a whole series dedicated to restarting my cafe this is my old account this is what i do i restarted my cafe to show you guys how you can grow your cafe and make a bunch more money and build your cafe up to get to your fourth floor but if you're just trying to get the limited UGC, it will be a really helpful series to watch to learn how to get 
all of these popularity furniture and how to make a grinding floor so i will have that link down below if you guys want to watch that i would recommend watching it it will show you exactly what you need to do in the beginning to get more money so you want to focus on getting your popularity points once you buy those you want to set them down if you don't set them down you won't get popularity once you set them down you can go over here and see how much you have the next thing after you get your popularity is machines and your machines are located in the city so let's head back to the city and i will show you guys where you can find those machines in the beginning you only start out with two machines which is the americano machine and the cupcake machine and there is no way to make a ton of money using those machines because you can only make so much money off of them those are the very base machines right here it does give you some popularity as well that's why you also want to get them but not only that the higher the machine is the more money you get out of the machine so if you go all the way to the back and you have like these higher level machines the customers that order this will give you like a thousand coins per plate or two thousand sometimes even three thousand they give you a ton of coins so you want to try and get these machines and in the beginning it is super super easy to get them and once you get up to like the back here you should be able to just sit and grind and get the luxury seat so i would just get all of these machines right here and not focus on the ones in the back once you get back there and how you get these machines is by leveling up so by leveling up all you have to do is serve customers and you got to do that anyways so just make sure that you are setting a bunch of tables down and you're getting customers and then when you level up go to the city and see if you can buy any of the machines and you want to buy them for sure don't worry about the money it is totally worth the money in order to get more money and to get more popularity and to get more customers and that is super important when you are trying to get a bunch of coins and then you will eventually be able to buy the new UGC. You can also get coins by opening up chests. You're gonna be doing that anyways, so you will slowly get coins by that. And also by the playtime rewards, you do get a bunch of coins from that. Other than that, you can get coins from the exchange store and stuff like that, and you can convert- Oh my gosh, I got diamonds! But you can convert your diamonds into coins i would not recommend that at all it is actually pretty easy to get coins once you know what you gotta do so definitely don't spend your diamonds and don't spend your tokens and don't spend your cookies on coins they are much much more easier to get and it is not worth those precious currencies to exchange for diamonds so don't worry about those ways of getting coins it is definitely not worth it but i would exchange those for diamonds or tickets since those are harder to get and the very very last thing that really helps when getting coins is workers and you're going to be opening up a bunch of tickets anyways so you will eventually be getting some of the workers and the higher level you get the more slots you get and the more workers you have and the more efficient your cafe will run if you have a bunch of character cards definitely put those in place of your humans so get rid of the humans and replace them with the characters because the characters can run much faster level up much faster and are just faster all around so if you can i would definitely replace all of your humans in your cafe with those Sanrio characters just because they are much much faster than the humans but obviously just use what you got I don't have any more so I'm gonna just have to use a human and if you only have humans just use it humans are still useful and they can still run all right they are just a little bit slower than the Sanrio characters. So when you do unlock a new one, make sure you replace it with one of your humans. That is every single way that you can get tickets, diamonds, coins, everything that you are going to need to get this limited UTC. 
I am currently working on my Pom Pom Perrin staff and I will be opening up a bunch of tickets tomorrow in a live stream. I'll have it scheduled by the time this video is up and I'm going to open up a bunch of tickets in order to get Pom Pom and then hopefully I will be able to buy those two outfits and finally get his Pom Pom UGC on my alt account. I am so so excited. I really hope I can get them and I wish you guys the best of luck for getting this UGC as well and I hope this video helped you guys getting that UGC item. Just make sure that you're doing these things every single day and eventually I promise you you will be getting Pom Pom Perrin and you don't have to spend all of your Robux on him. This is the best way to do it and I promise you guys you will be able to eventually get Pom Pom Perrin. I wish you guys the best of luck. Let me know if you guys have any questions down below and if you guys have any suggestions for people who are trying to get this UGC leave them down below and thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys later. Bye!